in this beautiful graphic that you can see here is what we envisage the landscape would have looked like in the Dover Strait, in that space between Dover and Calais before the breach of the Dover Strait happened. We can see this land bridge over here stretching. We're sitting in France looking across to Britain that you can see way off in the distance over here. And we can see this beautiful land bridge stretching out across where we now have the Dover Strait, this gap between Britain and France. And this Dover Strait, this land bridge, would have been made out of the very same chalk that makes the famous White Cliffs of Dover, what defines in some ways Britain's identity, the famous White Cliffs of Dover. So this land bridge existed in the strait, and to the northeast, what we had was a huge lake that was dammed to the south by this rock ridge and dammed to the north somewhere between Norfolk and Denmark by the ice sheets. So this was at the peak of what we call the Anglian or Elsterian glaciation about 450,000 years ago. And this was the furthest advance of the Northwest European ice sheets. So there would have been ice all over Scotland and Wales and stretching all the way down to just north of London. This ice sheet would have stretched across uh, Norfolk, Suffolk, and across the North Sea, all the way across to Denmark. And this would have formed the northern boundary of this lake. And this lake would have been filled with water from both drainage, river flow from the Thames, but also the Rhine, Europe's largest drainage basin, and also meltwater from this ice sheet. So we would have a huge glacial lake. To the south west of this rock ridge, the English Channel would have been dry land at this time because um, the seawater was actually locked up in the ice sheets. So we had these extensive ice sheets and all this seawater was locked up and water depths are quite low in the English Channel. You know, we're going to, down to you know, 40 to 60 metres water depth. Um, this would have been dry land and so this would have been a low gradient plain and because it would have been at the peak of the glaciations so it would have been a tundra-like landscape so very grey you know ice covered very very bitter cold landscape so in this image what you can see this dramatic picture of a whole series of waterfalls at the rock ridge with lake water from this lake in the southern north sea basically spilling over a whole series at a whole series of spill points with multiple waterfalls carving what we think are deep uh, plunge pools just before the escarpment that forms these white cliffs.